Welcome to Fret Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey, we're back. Mm -hmm, we are back. Hey guys, so if you've been uh, watching the channel at all, you already know that um, this guitar was originally up on our second episode, and we're on like, what, seven or something crazy it's, now? It's something close to that, if not. So, um, when we bought this guitar, we bought this straight from Guitar Center, most everything we ordered, but we ordered, we got this one from Guitar Center, we went and played it, mm -hmm. and it played really well. Um, we didn't really question anything, it was the last one they had, I believe, and it was 250 bucks. So we thought, hey, that's a really good buy for $250. Yeah. Well, we got it back home a week or so past. We went to do the review on it and Guitar Center had raised the price on it back to $399. And that's why we kind of stopped and didn't review it because we really thought we're kind of getting out of the entry level series if we get up to 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we just pushed it back in line and went ahead and did other videos and gave other guitars away. Uh, but now we're back to it, and I'll tell you why. So there's four colors of this guitar, and I guess what um, Guitar Center has decided to do is there's two other colors, and they're kind of bursty. They kind of look like a traditional Les mm -hmm. Paul. There's this one and a black and gray. This one and the black and gray have been moved back to 250 where the other two colors have been kept at 399 So, yes, you can go buy this guitar today for... 250 bucks. Nice. Now, here in a second, we're going to let you hear it in the mix. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you all about the specs. We're going to tell you about our experience with it, what it took to get it, what we how we feel on everything on it, and we're going to tell you if we think it's a good buy. Yeah. So, um, all in all, I think it's a pretty good guitar. What do you think? Yeah, it's not bad, um, especially if you like playing on a Les Paul uh, style body. Right. You know? It's got... To me, it's got a little bit of heft to it. Maybe it's just because a little more wood on the bottom end or something. But, you know, uh, that aside, it, it plays really nice. So we're not going to get too crazy with the specs because it's a $250 guitar. Yeah. But it says the body is made out of mahogany. And I believe the neck's out of mahogany. And it has a rosewood fretboard. It has 22 frets. Um, they're rounded ends. So the fret work on it is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. The neck's been straight. We really haven't done a thing to this guitar other than tune it from bringing it home. And we did get a chance to sit in Guitar Center and play this for a couple minutes. This is one of the few guitars that we touched before we bought it. Kind of the root of our channel is to order online and, you know, see if it's worth it. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to make sure we at least had one or two. So we got this one in the Jackson. We've already given Jackson away. Yep. Um, it's got... This company's variation of PAF pickups, you know, more of a Les Paul sound. So it's not a heavy metal rocker, but you'll you'll hear in the demo, it does rock, heavy mm -hmm. rock pretty good. Yeah, it can do it pretty well. So what mm. I believe, and this is our take, this is not painted on. I'm not sure exactly how they do it. I'm pretty sure it's a veneer. Um, I think construction wise, this guitar is built really well. Mm -hmm. um, it has two coil splits on each. So that kind of gives you a little bit more variation on tone. Um, these are push pulls on this. It's got um, a pretty good bridge. We've been playing it for maybe three weeks now. Um, we haven't had any issues with it. It does have their version of locking tuners on it. And I believe, not ragging on anybody, but I believe this guitar gives any $200, $250, $270, $300 Amazon guitar a run for its money. Yeah, it this can definitely a, compete with them. This is a really good playing guitar, all in all, all the way around. So um, I believe what we're going to do is we're going to let you hear it in a mix. Uh, and keep in mind, every one of these guitars that are on the entry level series, we review it and we give it away. It's really simple. All you have to do is go on the video you like of the particular guitar you like and you're going to like that video, you're going to share that video to another platform, and you are you need to be subscribed to the channel, and then you type the word D-O-N-E in the comments. That puts you into the drawing, and all we do on the drawing is put everybody's name in a random name generator. It's online, and we'll get everybody's name in there. We hit the wheel. Whoever wins it, whoever hits that, wins it. Yep. 
and we ship it to you. Don't cost you nothing. We're going to put it right back in the box we got it from, whether it was mailed to us or whether we got it from Guitar Center. Um, we're going to put a fret knot sticker on it, and it's going to, you know, you're going to get a box from us. Won't cost you nothing. And uh, you're going to get a free guitar from fret knot. Yeah. All yours. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get out of here. We're going to let you hear this in a mix. And when we come back, we're going to tell you our experience with it and what we feel and if we feel like it's worth buying. Okay, we're back. You got to hear it in a mix. Mm -hmm. Plays pretty good. Um, you know, when I first got this guitar, and you know, we have a, we have another series that's uh, the high gain series, man, and it's we've got what 11, 12 now. Yeah, it's somewhere around there. Some of the most, uh, some of the best luthiers on the planet. We've uh, commissioned guitars and had them all shipped in, and these are really high end guitars. And I love all of those guitars. They're kind of my passion. But I'm going to tell you, that guitar right there, um, you could leave it alone and be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. You could go put a little bit hotter pickups in it. Um, and I really don't think you, the locking tuners seem to function. I don't think you'd have to do anything else. You don't have to do anything to this guitar. But I think if you did that, mm -hmm. you would have a different animal. Yeah, if you if you wanted to do something to it, you know, yep. then yeah, it would. Uh, Maybe some uh, I don't know, you know, you could put some Seymours in it. You could put mm -hmm. some. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could put in it, but you know, then you're getting up the pickups costing more yeah. than what the guitar costs. Yeah. <laughs> so that's personal preference. Uh, like I said, we bought this at Guitar Center. They have them online. They have them in store. My advice, if you buy this guitar, unlike most of the rest of the guitars on this channel. Go put your hands on it first. And if you can't, this is really no different than ordering off Amazon and watching the reviews. Yeah. But all in all, for 250 bucks, I think that's a great buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And the other two colors that are $399 are the exact same guitars. They're just different colors. So I believe that guitar competes with anything out there at 400 bucks. Yeah, easily. So if it competes at 400 bucks, then it's a no brainer at 250. Yeah, agreed. So um, get you, if you get a chance, go on Guitar Center's website, check it out. You'll see the two different variations. There's two different colors. Uh, they may have done something different on the other ones to reason the price is a little bit different, but that guitar plays as good as any of them. Um, I guess if there was one complaint, I'm not really wild about the kind of gold colory knobs against the blue. Yeah, it's kind of, um, I don't know, it just reminds me of a certain time period where <laughs> everything was this color in the kitchen, in the living room. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But this is a really good guitar, and obviously I can't rate the one you're going to get, especially if you ordered online. We put our hands on that at Guitar Center. We played it for 30 minutes, and we bought it, and we bought it to give away. Um, that's a really good playing guitar. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, you could do a you could buy a hundred guitars worse at the same price or less, mm -hmm. and not get the quality out of that. So we're really happy that they moved it back to 250. We was beginning to wonder if we was going to have to create a whole another series, put it in <laughs> four to seven hundred dollars yeah. range or something. You know what I mean? just to have somewhere to give it away. So 
Make sure you get in on the drawing on this. As of the recording of this video, we just gave away the IYV. Yeah. We've already given away the Donner. Mm -hmm. We gave away the Jackson. Yep. And we gave away the Leo James. The Leo James, yeah. Yep. So that's four. So as of right now, there is a is it Fesley? Fesley? Fesley. Firefly? No, no, it's no, a Firefly. It's a Firefly. There's yeah. a Firefly up to give away. There is a um, SBS. SBS. Yep. Our '80s rocker. Yeah. With mm -hmm. tremolo, it's on there. Um, we're putting this one up. So there's three guitars on there right now that you can go and you can do what I told you earlier on each video. You can't apply but one time uh, per video. And um, there's no love lost. We just put your name. You know, in a random name generator, we spin the wheel, you win it, you win it. We sent um, the kind, the first one, the Jackson, was kind of sort of local. It didn't have to go too far. Mm -hmm. We sent the Donner to Canada. Yep. And we're not saying where we are, but we're in America. And we had to pay all those fees to get it up there. So no matter where you are, if you're on this channel and you support us, we're going to ship you the guitar. Um, if you are out of the continental United States and you win, I'm going to pay the shipping. If one of the the carriers decides to charge you some port of in, you know some kind of import tax, mm -hmm. I can't fix that because yeah. they don't allow me to see that. So keep that in mind. But if you're in continental America, you're not going to have to do nothing. You're just going uh, UPS going to send you a tracking number. Bam, you got a free guitar from me. Yep. Yep. Fret not. Well, listen, guys, um, do yourself a favor. Go check this out. Obviously, get in on the drawing for this because hey, it's better free mm -hmm. than having to pay it. If you got somebody learning, if you got somebody intermediate, if you're intermediate and you need a second guitar, you're not looking for a hundred percent just metal crusher. Um, this is a really good guitar. It's really clean on the clean channels. You have all the different variations with the uh, coil splitting on it. The we have it in drop D right now. Yes. And I believe the uh, review was in the live part was in drop D, and man, it. It just sounds really good. You might maybe bring those strings a level up. Maybe you know change them, go a little bit uh, a little bit thicker string, and you put it down and drop C. Whatever you wanted to do on it, it holds it holds tuning, mm -hmm. and it just plays really well. Yeah, fresh uh, fresh set of strings on here. You, you'd be surprised. It's just it would really sing. Well, for a this guitar. is our <laughs> first Mitchell that we reviewed, and I will say mm -hmm. this, and I have not ever touched another Mitchell. If their Mitchells are of this quality, it's a no-brainer who you need to buy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For that money, now I know they make like a, a 100 and a 200, which are different kind of super strat looking ones. Mm -hmm. Don't know anything about them. Um, they can be a little less expensive than this, I think. So it kind of worries me, you know, if I if they're gonna, if the quality's gonna change, but that is a well-built guitar. Yeah. And I believe uh, if I needed to stick that on the rack on stage and use that as an alternate guitar, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be scared to do it. That's a good guitar. Yeah, not bad. All right, so make sure you go to the channel. Man, we have the entry-level series, which we're in right now. We have the high-gain series, and we have another series called Meet the Maker. Meet the Maker. So that what we're going to do on those high-gain series, all those expensive one-off custom guitars that we had built, we go back and the majority of those, we're doing interviews with the actual builder. We're just gonna sit down and talk to him for 20 or 30 minutes and let you kind of see who you would be sending your money to. And uh, they're gonna give you a little something about themselves, how they do things, you know, what drives them. Just, you know, it's a chance to beat them because otherwise you're just sending your money out to the ether. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, listen, we really appreciate everybody. The subscriptions are going crazy right now. Yeah, uh, we that. love Thank all you. the views. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've got any comments on anything, just comment on the post, man. You, you know, any of the videos, you can comment. If you've got experience with any of the guitars we're giving away, by all means, please get on there and comment because we're dealing with one individual guitar each yeah. time. And so far, man, in the entry level series, I've been stupid lucky. Yeah, that's so far all of them have been pretty nice. I've been surprised, you know, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but like how the quality has come along um, for entry level and the money you would spend for that. Well, if if that was around when I started playing, mm -hmm. or there was dinosaurs then, right. but <laughs> anyway, if, I, if that was around when I started playing, man, my world would have been so much different. I And I'm not 
I'm not whining about it, man, but I learned on just junk. I right. mean, half inch off the net, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. not only did you have to get it all the, the string all the way down to the neck, you had to make sure and keep it straight yeah. because if you moved it a, a millimeter, it changed what you was doing. So it, even if it was in tune, if you didn't get your hands perfect, these, these aren't like that. No. That plays really good. Mm -hmm. All right, listen, we've taken up enough of your time. Uh, we just put the winner of the IYV. It's on there. So if you was in that drawing, make sure and go check that out. Um, we have this drawing. We have the SBS. And we have the Firefly. And we have another one coming. Another on the way. For the Intra Level Series. Mm -hmm. And whether it means anything to you or not, the High Gain Series has struck again. We have a brand new one just come in, custom built all the way from Italy. Oh, yeah. She just came in, and if you keep an eye on the channel in the next day or two, you're going to see the review on that. And I promise you, regardless, whether you're buying, not buying, what you're buying or, you know, entry level or high end, you don't want to miss that video because that's a really nice guitar. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks so much for everything. We appreciate you. And until next time. Stay tuned.